Hello and welcome back to On Location. Today I'm on location here at Lindner Park Nature Preserve at the McCullough Estate. Um, so this is a old family property here that's been converted to a nature preserve of course. Um, but it's really cool because it still has some of the remnants of it that you'll see later on such as like a pool, a uh, bathhouse, a greenhouse, and uh, some other kind of shelters and everything. So it's a pretty cool place. Um, definitely some trails here that, to hike and traverse on um, that are kind of varied in terrain but nothing too terribly difficult. And um, it's a pretty small and quaint little park here, so um, it should be a quick visit here. But I'm looking for uh, particularly spring ephemeral flowers and uh, pretty much anything else we can get for the day. Um, there's a lot of old growth trees and everything that um, should be kind of cool. Maybe if I want to do some landscapes or some detail shots of that. Um, so we're just going to see what the day brings. Um, the sunlight right now, it's mid-afternoon right now, and there's some spotty clouds um, that can cover it and diffuse the light, of course, um, when I do end up taking some photographs. Or I could use the sunlight to my advantage and lower exposures and things like that. So we're going to see what it brings here today, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get started hiking here. Um, it's pretty hot for April now. It's really warmed up and it's about the mid-80s today um, with no real breeze. So it's quite stale, humid air right now and uh, feels very stagnant. But I'm going to go ahead and start hiking here and we'll uh, see what we get. All right, so I've hiked about a, a fair amount of the trails now, I think about close to a mile. Um, I think there's another section over far uh, near the parking lot um, that I have not checked out yet, but um, so far been pretty good. It's a very hot and steamy day, but um, I found some Virginia bluebells and some red seal trillium, also known as toad shade trillium. Um, pretty common this time of year with the mid-spring and especially in the month of April. And so I think I'm gonna focus on these two just because they're very nice and plentiful, especially along the wild ginger trail. Um, despite the name that is, I haven't found any wild ginger, but usually those are really low lying and they hide underneath the leaves really low to the ground. So I'm gonna take a closer look as I go along that trail some more. And um, I'm also gonna pick apart uh, different bluebells and maybe some of the trilliums and see if I can get some decent shots from them. Um, so for now, I'm just kind of looking out to see which ones are the best looking ones, especially with the, the bluebells. They, I really want the ones that are very vibrant. Um, they have this almost like neon blue and uh, purple and pinkish hue to them. And then the, for the toad shade, um, just depends on whatever good cluster there is of them. Or if I want to isolate, um, just pick out and single out one of them uh, for an image here. So a lot of different compositional ideas we can try, a lot of different focal lengths, of course. Um, I'm going to see kind of what I'm up for today or what I think the lighting uh, given as it is right now with the clouds, as you can see above us and all that in the sunlight, um, what would be the best uh, options for these? So, all right, so uh, wow, that was uh, pretty awesome actually. So, along the wild ginger trail here, um, you know, the ends just kind of around this bend here where it kind of lowers in elevation, as you can see behind me. Um, but got some really amazing uh, Virginia Bluebell photographs. Um, so I basically used my 16 to 35 f4. Um, that's a wide angle lens, a zoom lens, of course. And um, I was literally doing the whole thing handheld. Um, even though I did bring the tripod just in case for you know additional stability and all that, um, I was literally shooting on single shooting mode and just doing it handheld um, because this lens in particular has built-in image stabilization um, when you do shoot handheld, which is really nice. And so I was literally taking the shots um, just really up close, but I was doing it at 35 millimeters, which is obviously the farthest that this uh, zoom lens can go. And I was getting right up onto uh, all the bluebells. I was finding like the best little strands of them and just getting up real close. And anytime you do that with a wide angle lens, it really emphasizes and brings to the forefront uh, whatever's in the foreground of the image in the frame there. So I had like basically the background bluebells and lined it up where they were in shadow and then I was shooting these head on um, with them actually being front lit. So it emphasized that little spotlight, if you will, 
of the uh, foreground bluebells. And the way the images look with just that wide angle perspective, I think looks really, really cool. Um, I've shot them many times in years past, in previous videos, of course, you doing like a macro perspective and uh, like a true close up uh, perspective. Um, but doing them in the wide angle like this, I just thought was like, that was really cool. Um, nice subjects, um, always nice to see those in spring here. Um, but you know, doing them in a different way obviously is nice and can be a lot more creative and of course. So I was doing them about F8. I was teetering around the shutter speed a little bit um, since shooting handheld with the built-in image stabilization or IS for short. Um, I was doing about 3 20ths of a second up to 400th of a second and then uh, also kind of teetering my ISO around 400 to 500. Um, so it was actually underexposing them quite a bit um, and I was double checking the histogram with each exposure I made um, but it was actually kind of severely underexposing them because it'd be pretty easy to overexpose the, the foreground bluebells and so obviously that's not what I wanted to do. All right, everyone, that wraps up my visit here at the Linder Park Preserve. Um, yeah, pretty cool visit. Um, I really like this place, especially here in spring. Um, I actually been hearing, sound like almost like a nesting red shoulder hawk near the parking lot. And just over here a second ago, I heard a bard out doing its who cooks for you mnemonic call, uh, which is really cool as well. Um, lots of bird life, um, quite a few plants and different wildflower species at this time of year. And uh, it's a cool place. I'd like to check out some more um, during all of the year and all seasons. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. This has been Lindner Park Nature Preserve at Kala State. Until next time, make sure to get out here. Thank you. Mm -hmm.